Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the crochet reindeer candy cane holder. He is so cute, oh my goodness. He'll make a great gift for any family member, friend, coworker, a teacher gift. This guy is going to be perfect. He's small, so he makes up really fast. The pattern is super easy, and I can't wait to show you how to make him. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel, that way you don't miss any of my videos. I release two brand new videos every single week covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, and you're not gonna wanna miss out. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're gonna need to make this little guy. The material that you're gonna need to make the reindeer candy cane holder are four different types of yarn. They're all going to be a size four weighted or worsted weight or Aran weight yarn, but you're going to want to have a color white, red, black, and a reindeer color. So a main body color such as a brown, a taupe, a cream, beige, light brown, uh, any one of those natural reindeer colors. You can do something completely different if you want to, but in general for this project, we're gonna stick to a natural reindeer color. You're going to need a crochet hook size F5 or 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. The pattern actually calls for a four millimeter crochet hook, but my options here for a size F or a size G, they're either 3.75 or 4.25, but I don't have an exact four millimeter crochet hook. So I went with the smaller option to just make my stitches tighter. You're also going to need the yarn needle, a pair of scissors, just a small bit of polyfill to fill the nose, and of course, two candy canes. That's all you're gonna need for the materials. So let's go ahead and move right into how to make this super cute reindeer candy cane holder. The first thing that we're going to work on is the actual face part of the reindeer, the candy cane pouch itself. So this part right here, the pattern actually begins us at the very top opening and works our way down to the bottom. So take your main color that you're gonna be working with. Let's create our slip knot, attach our crochet hook, perfect. And begin by chaining 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing we do is we're gonna close the ring by slip stitching into the very first chain that we made. Perfect, okay, the ring is closed. You're going to chain one and then start your row to round two. So in the pattern, this ring right here was considered round one. So round two, we're gonna go ahead and just put one single crochet in each chain all the way around, making sure that you end with 10 single crochets. One, two, nine, and 10, I need 10. That's why it's important to count, that way I didn't cut that short. So 10 single crochets. So what you'll see in the pattern is it wants row, uh, round two through round 13 to be worked in continuous rounds. What that means is once you finished the round, you do not slip stitch and then chain one to get to your next row. You just dive straight into the next stitch and continue the process. So because we're doing that, the best way that you can go about making sure you can count your rounds is by placing a stitch marker or a row marker at the very beginning or end of each round. So you can just count 13 once we get to finishing the 13th round. What I do because I don't use stitch markers is I will refer to my little tail that I began with and I will follow that along and I'll see, oh, that was one and then two and then I will count to round 13. But you go ahead and count your rounds however works best for you. So we're just going to continue putting one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and I will meet you at the very end of round 13 to show you what to do next. For row 14, all you have to do is take your circular shape and squeeze it in half. You should have 10 stitches. All you're doing is going through both sides. So that's one side, go across to the other side. You're sealing this up. 
you're closing this up with five stitches. So one then through both sides, two, three, four, and five. Boom. So now that is closed to create the pouch for the candy canes. You grab your scissors, yarn over, pull through, and that seals off the bottom of your reindeer pouch. You would just pull in that little tail, insert your crochet hook, come out some spot on the bottom, grab that tail, pull it to the inside of the pouch, and you don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, pouch is done. Let's move on to his ears. For the ears, we are going to be using the main color. The ears are worked in rounds, so you can either choose to start with the magic ring, the magic circle, which is what the pattern is referring to with the MC, a magic circle, which is just a magic ring, just another name for magic ring, or you could do the chain two method. I'm fond of the chain two method, so I'm gonna be using that, but use whatever works best for you. Uh, you can use row markers to indicate which or how many rows you are working with. We are going to be working in continuous rounds again. Uh, if you are using row markers, you can use a small tail before you begin your slip knot to attach your crochet hook. I actually like to use my yarn as my row marker, so I'm gonna start with about a three inch long tail and then I'm going to create my slip knot to attach to my crochet hook. Whatever works best for you, it's just multiple different options. Start with chaining two or your magic ring. For row one or round one, you're going to put four single crochet in that first chain or four single crochet inside the ring or circle. One, two, three, four. Perfect, okay? So we have just finished round one. I'm going to take my long row marker tail and pull it through my loop on my hook. That indicates that I have finished round one. Go ahead and insert a row marker right there so you can also indicate, oh, there's the end of round one. Round two, you're just putting two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. You will end round two with eight single crochets. Again, we're working continuous rounds, so just dive right into that very first single crochet. And eight. Perfect, I finished round two. I'm going to yarn over, pull through to indicate I closed round two. Insert your second row marker there if you're using row markers. And we're ready for round three. Round three, we're just putting one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, end of round three. I'm going to yarn over and pull through my row marker tail. Go ahead and attach another row marker to indicate we just finished round three. For round four, we're going to put one single crochet in the first three stitches and two single crochets in the fourth stitch. We will repeat that pattern two different times. We're going to end round four with 10 single crochets. One, two, three, and then two single crochet. One, two. Then repeat. One, two, three, and then two single crochets. One, two. End of round four. Pulling through my row marker tail. Round five is the last round for the ear. All you're doing is putting one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. All right, ended round five. Go ahead and close off round five. I'm going to slip stitch in the very first stitch of the row right there to close it off. Grabbing my scissors, I'm gonna cut a long tail so I can attach this, sew this onto the main body of the work. I'm going to yarn over and pull through that loop to create that slip knot. You're going to wanna to make two of those for the two ears and I will see you when you are done with that. To make the eyes for the reindeer, the outer part of the eye, the white, grab your white yarn. The eyes are worked in continuous rounds. So again, we are gonna begin with either a chain two 
or your magic ring. I'm gonna start with the chain two, but I'm also gonna start with a long tail. That way I can use my long tail as a row marker tail, kind of like I did with the ears. But if you're gonna use row markers to count your continuous rounds, you can start with your tiny tail. So I'm gonna give myself a long tail, about three and a half, four inches. Don't even need it that long, but I can always trim it back. Create my slip knot right there. Beautiful, okay, so I'm gonna start with my chain two, but you can start with a magic ring, whichever you're most comfortable with. For round one, we are going to put four single crochets inside that magic ring or inside the very first chain. One, two, three, four. Great, okay, so I'm gonna yarn over and pull through my row marker tail to indicate that I've just finished round one. If you want, you can put your row marker on the fourth stitch to also indicate the end of round one. We are, again, working in continuous rounds, so we're gonna dive right into that very first stitch. For round two, we are going to increase single crochet in each stitch across. All that means is we're gonna put two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You should end round two with eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, great. Okay, I'm gonna use my row marker tail, pull it through, go ahead and place your row marker on the eighth stitch to indicate that you just ended round two. For round three, we're just putting one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Perfect, okay, row marker. Last round, guys, for the outer eye, we are just going to decrease every two stitches. So decrease single crochet every two stitches. How you're gonna do that is you insert your crochet hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, insert your crochet hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and that's a single crochet decrease right there. You're going to do four decreases to finish off this row, and that's all you're doing for round four. All right, perfect. So I'm gonna use my row marker tail, pull through to indicate that I've just finished row four. I'm gonna grab my scissors, cut a long tail so I can sew this eye on the main body of my work. Before I finish, how I finish this little piece, guys, I'm gonna insert my crochet hook into the first stitch of that next row yarn over and slip stitch into the loop that's on my hook, yarn over, pull that yarn through the loop for a slip knot just to tie that off and secure it. Okay, so that is the first outer eye. Go ahead and take a second, guys, to make one more and then we can move on to the next step. The next part we are going to make is the black part of the eye or the pupil part of the eye. Uh, how I make the pupil is different than how the pattern shows you to make the pupil. I think my way is a lot easier and looks a lot better, but you can obviously follow whichever one you want. I'm going to put my deviation in the note section below for you, just in case you want to follow it. Just make your slip knot, insert your crochet hook. All right, chain three. One, two, three. Slip stitch into the second chain from your crochet hook. Slip stitch. And then grab that little baby tail we started with, pull that through your loop on your hook and just pull it tight. And now you have this elongated ovalish circle that is going to be your pupil. That's it. Take your scissors, cut a long tail so you can attach the pupil to the body of the work. Take your two strings, tie a knot, and that's all you have to do for the pupil. Okay, make one more of those and you're ready to move on to the next step. All right guys, the last thing that we have to make for a piece for our little reindeer is its red nose. So grab your red color. Okay, again, the nose is worked in rounds, so you can either start with a magic ring, magic circle, or the chain two method. Again, I'm going to use a long tail for my row marker, but you can use a short tail if you are using your own row markers. Going to create the slip knot. Attach crochet hook. 
Okay, create that magic ring or chain two. First round that we're going to do is six single crochet in that first chain or six single crochet in your magic ring. One, two, five, six. Perfect, okay? I'm going to yarn over and pull through to indicate that I have finished round one. You can put your row marker right there also. We're working in continuous rounds. Round two is just two single crochets in each stitch around. You will end round two with 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, 11, 12. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to yarn over, pull through, indicating that I've ended round two. Go ahead and insert your row marker there. For round three, you are just going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. One, two, three, four, 11, 12, secure the end of round three. So round four, I'm just going to pop that nose forward. So I'm forming the circle on the outside. Okay, for round four, you're just going to decrease single crochet every two stitches together to the very end. You will end round four with a total of six single crochets, okay? So every two stitches, so one, two, yarn over, pull through. One, two, yarn over, pull through. All right, that's it guys. Yarn over, pull through to close off that round four. Go ahead and slip stitch in the very first stitch of that round to Close it, grab your scissors, long tail to sew onto your project, yarn over, pull through the loop, pull tight, and you are done with the nose. Beautiful, guys. Now we are ready to assemble all of our pieces. All right, guys, we are almost finished. All we have to do now is assemble all of our pieces together, and then we are done. The first pieces that I put together are the pupil of the eye onto the eye. So go ahead and take your yarn needle or tapestry needle and thread that. Place the eye. So if this is it, I'm going to go to the very top where we began, the very first circle. I'm gonna place that pupil over that first circle and I'm going to sew it on. All right, perfect. When you have finished attaching the black pupil, you're going to just bring your needle out to where the other string is pulled out. Tie a knot. Great. Grab your crochet hook. Insert that in the center of the work. Pop out right next to where those two black strings are. Grab it with your hook and pull them into the work. Just like that. Perfect. That's all you do for the pupil. Go ahead and move on to the other pupil. Great. Okay, so the eyes are done. Next thing I'm going to focus on is attaching the ears to the top of the reindeer's head. So taking the brown yarn and my yarn needle, attaching the ears to the head. I'm gonna take the other tail and I'm going to stuff it inside the ear. Okay, I'm gonna pinch the ear hole shut and then I'm going to actually bend it in half like that. That way it creates this cute little, little ear right there. First thing I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna take this needle, I'm gonna go ahead and go through both sides to just seal that fold for me. Then I'm going to find the work. Where do I want 
him to attach and I'm like, oh, I want him right there. So keeping this flat, I'm going to butt the ear up to it and I'm just gonna start attaching the ear. This time I'm gonna come in stitch behind it to, to really secure this to the body of the reindeer. All right, when you feel like you have secured that ear on the best you can, all you're going to do is bring your needle back into the ear just a little bit. Hold back some for slack. I'm going to take this yarn and I'm going to twist it to form an X. I'm going to take my needle, go underneath the bottom most yarn of that X inside the hole, pull that through. So I just formed a slip knot. Then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go back into the ear and just pull that through and cut off the slack. And that is ear number one. Go ahead and do the same thing with ear number two. Taking the longest yarn, threading that into your needle, taking the smaller yarn, stuffing that into the ear, right? Okay, pinching the two sides together, folding it in half, and then taking your needle and going through both sides just to secure that pinch. Now we have this ear, we're gonna butt it up to this side and go ahead and sew to attach those together. All right, and when you feel like that ear is secure, go ahead and insert your needle, folding some yarn back, twist it to form that X, bring the needle underneath through that hole and pull through for that slip knot. Reinsert your needle for the ear, pull through, and cut off your slack. All right, our ears are done. They look so cute. Now we can attach the eyes next. All right, the next thing we want to attach to our reindeer are the eyes. So first thing we're going to do is get rid of the black extra yarn that's coming out the bottom of the eye we don't need that. Okay. All right. Okay. So looking at your two white strings, your one, the, the longest white string is going to be the one that we use to sew our eye onto our reindeer. So the smaller white string, what we're going to do is we are going to pull it into the eye to just give that eye some stuffing, some filling. So insert your crochet hook somewhere into the eye. Poke the tip of your hook out the bottom of the eye where we want to pull that extra string in. I will take the string, the small string that I want to pull into the eye, bend it in half or fold it in half. That way when I pull the string in, I'm pulling in both halves at the same time. Do not want to pull it all the way out. Just release and keep pulling in. Perfect until everything's pulled in and then remove your crochet hook. Take your thumb with the black part of the pupil, your finger with the bottom of the eye, squish it flat, flatten it like a cookie, and that is going to be our eye. We can form the black pupil part a little bit more, but there we go. Let's go ahead and make our other one ready to go. Grabbing our yarn needle, thread the yarn needle. Okay, so the two eyes. We're, they're literally going to be butted right up against each other, okay? Just like that. I usually put one finger on the inside of the reindeer so that way I don't sew the two sides together and then I will sew the eye onto the face. Great! When you've gone all the way around, go ahead and insert your needle back into the white part of the eye, holding back some slack, twist it so it makes that X shape, come in the bottom part, so the top part right here of the X, I wanna go through the bottom part of the X and through that circle and pull. And then insert your needle back into the work the other side 
and cut off the slack. Great, okay, so eye number one is done. Let's move on to eye number two. Once you've made it all the way around, insert your needle into the white, hold back some slack, twisting, bottom of the X into the middle of the circle, pull. For that slip knot, reinsert your needle into the white and pull all the way through, cutting off your slack. Great, guys. Okay, our eyes are done. And if you want, you can always reform the eyes to make them thinner. There we go, perfect. Okay, last thing we need to do to attach is the nose. The nose, I actually like to put some polyfill in just to give him some more shape. And really, you're using the smallest little puff of polyfill. Okay, so taking the bottom of the nose where we have the opening and putting the polyfill in there. Perfect, see just the smallest little bit of polyfill is great. Okay, looking at your two strings, which one is shorter? This one's shorter, so I'm going to pull that one into the nose. Great. Thread your needle and then attach the nose to the face. Again, if you want, you can put your finger on the inside just to make sure you don't sew the two sides together. All right, secure that yarn right there with the slip knot. Pull through, cut your slack. All right, guys, that is your candy cane holding reindeer. All you need left, grab two candy canes, insert your two candy canes in the opening on the top, and you have got your little candy cane holder. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Isn't he adorable? Oh, I love him. I hope you had fun. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you might also really enjoy these videos right here. Also, check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys.